Well, probably the most uh, popular cowboy uh, poem that's ever been done is uh, one written by Gail Gardner over in Prescott, Arizona, about 1917. And it's been put to music a few times, too. And, and I was lucky enough to uh, hear and see uh, Ramblin' Jack uh, do it about 12 years ago. And so my version is a lot closer to his than anybody else's. Name of the poem is the Sierra Peets. <laughs> Pine, the Sierra Peets, where the yellow pines grow tall. Sandy Bob and Buster Jig got a rodeo camp last fall. Oh, they're taking their horses and their running irons and maybe a dog or two. Loud they'd brand on the long eared calves that come in their view. And any old doggie that flapped long ears and didn't bush up by day got his long ears whittled and his old hat scorched in the most artistic way. One fine day, old Sandy Bob, he throwed his ego down. Said, I'm tired of this cow biography and lies and going to town. So the saddles up and hits him a lope for more no side of a ride. And them was the days when a buckaroo could eye him up his inside. So the stars are in at the Kentuck bar at the head of Whiskey Row. Winds up down at the depot house some 40 drinks below. That's right, 40. Sets him up and turns him around and goes her the other way. To tell you the honest truth, my friends, them boys got stewed that day. Now they's riding back to camp and a packing a pretty good load. Well, who should they meet but the devil himself prancing down the road? Says he, you honorary cowboy skunks, you better hunt your holes. Cause I've come up from hell's rim rock to gather in your soul. Sandy Bob, old devil be dern, we boys is kinda tired, kinda. But you ain't gonna gather no cowboy souls without some kind of a fight. So Sandy Bob punched a hole in his rope and he flung her straight and true. Laughed it on to the devil's horns and he taken his dabbies too. Now Buster Jig was a re-adder man with his gut line coiled up neat. So he's shaking her out and built him a loop and he lasts the devil's hind feet. They stretched him out and they tailed him down while the irons was a getting hot. Then they cropped and swallow forked his ears and they branded him up a lot. They pruned him up with a dehorn and saw tied knots in his tail for a joke. <laughs> Funny. Then they ran off and left him there necked up. Squatch. It's just the devil a better, not the knots right in his tail. It's just the devil. 